NASA has discovered a new asteroid today that could make a close path to Earth in exactly one year from now. The asteroid is now being dubbed 2021 Mitchell and is believed to be the exact same size as the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Fortunately, NASA has stated at this time there is a very low chance that the asteroid will strike the planet. NASA has unveiled disturbing news to the public this afternoon concerning the passage of the asteroid known as 2021 Mitchell. NASA is now saying that there is a high likelihood of the asteroid impacting on the Yucatan Peninsula on May 9th. If this happens, the impacts will be catastrophic for the planet and we could be seeing a disaster of biblical proportions. We will now go live to the White House where the President is about to address the nation on this event. Good afternoon, America. I wholeheartedly regret to inform that the asteroid known as 2021 Mitchell is heading on a direct collision course towards Earth. This asteroid has been found to be 6.2 miles or 10 kilometers wide. This is the exact same size of the asteroid that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. NASA has also come out with projections on where the asteroid might strike though please note these projections are in their very early stages of prediction. According to NASA's current calculations, 2021 Mitchell is expected to make an impact on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Due to the asteroid still being seven and a half weeks away from making impact, the full extent of the destruction is uncertain at this time. However, it remains clear that I want to make sure that every American is prepared for the impact whether the asteroid strikes the Yucatan or elsewhere. We have already put plans in effect to ensure the preservation of our species and many others alongside us. A little over a year ago, when my administration was informed of the asteroid's potential threat to our planet, we have worked hard on making several underground shelters across the country. These shelters can hold up to a maximum capacity of 20 million Americans. Other nations are also coming up with similar plans in order to preserve their people and putting in place similar systems to ours. On April 23rd, our computers will be selecting 15 million American citizens to join the other 5 million Americans that have been pre-selected based on their skills and essential occupations. News stations are being sent copies of the lottery procedure, which will be broadcasted in a few moments. However, I must regret to inform you as well that due to the threats of civil unrest due to this disaster, I am now putting the country under a state of martial law. While a curfew is not being put in effect at this time, military personnel will be monitoring the streets of all major towns and cities closely and crime will be dealt with swiftly and harshly. This is all the time we have right now. Thank you, and may God be with you all during this crisis. All right, that was the president speaking to us, and now we have a lottery procedure on us, and now we will be reading it to you. Individuals pre-selected for the shelters will be notified by phone within the next few mo moments. On April 23rd, those that have been selected by the computers will be notified. All phone systems will be turned off for 48 hours starting on April 22nd. The only phones that will ring during the, that time period will be those that have been selected. Nobody over the age of 50 will be selected in this lottery. The evacuation of those selected will begin on May 1st and will be done on May 4th. During this time period, evacuation traffic will be given the priority. Civilian traffic will be restricted during the passage of military convoys. Those selected will be transported by bus or trains to the shelter and be escorted by military personnel. For those who don't get selected, 
there is still time to construct shelters. Civil defense teams will be formed in every city with a population greater than 5,000. Supplies will be distributed and group shelters will be organized in underground parking facilities and other sites. Construction plans, equipment lists, and locations for securing the necessary provisions along with information on how to grow your own food underground and how to purify water are now available on the internet at www.fema.gov. I hope everyone follows these procedures during the crisis. We will continue coverage on these events after the break. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Washington Metropolitan Police Department. Police are requesting all civilians to avoid the downtown area of Washington T.C. until further notice. A riot has broken out, and numerous individuals are causing damage to several stores and cars in the area. For your safety, do not approach this area, if at all possible. Find alternate routes around the area. Any person that is caught causing damage to property will be arrested immediately without question. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Texas National Guard. A dangerous situation is occurring along the U.S. border with Mexico. At 12.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a large swarm of migrants from Mexico stormed across the border, getting past U.S. military personnel. 
Migrants have been reported to be throwing rocks at the U.S. Army in order to get into the country to seek refuge. Some civilians have been caught in the crossfire, causing numerous injuries. This is a very dangerous situation and should not be ignored. Residents are asked to stay away from border crossings to avoid getting injured or killed. All border crossing stations with Mexico have been closed off to everyone on both sides until further notice. Stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. Breaking news just now coming into our newsroom of a deadly shootout at a designated evacuee pickup site. Nine people have been confirmed dead along with th another 32 people injured after a group of gunmen opened fire on them. All of the victims in the shooting have been confirmed to all be evacuees waiting for the bus and a military escort to a shelter. The gunmen fled the scene shortly after the shooting and police and military personnel are keeping a close eye out for the perpetrators. At least 12 of the 32 people that were injured in the attack are in critical condition at this time. Here at the scene is... The following message is transmitted at the request of the Illinois National Guard in conjunction with the Chicago Police Department. A dangerous situation is occurring in the city of Chicago. Earlier this morning, a group of gunmen opened fire on a group of people waiting to be evacuated to a military shelter, leaving 9 dead and 32 injured. As of 8.55 a.m. Central Daylight Time, the gunmen have not been located and are likely still wandering around in the city. Descriptions of the gunmen have not been given. However, witnesses report that the gunmen were wearing all black clothing and masks covering their faces. The gunmen are considered armed and extremely dangerous. If you see anyone dressed in black and holding a gun, call 911 immediately. The whereabouts of these men are currently unknown and could be anywhere within the Chicago metropolitan area and future attacks from this unidentified group may occur at any time, leading to more injuries and fatalities. Stay tuned to the station and other media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. Yes, sir. 
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Michigan National Guard in conjunction with the Detroit Police Department. A dangerous situation is currently unfolding in downtown Detroit. At 11.04 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, numerous explosions have occurred around downtown Detroit, especially in areas near designated evacuee pickup areas. Numerous injuries and fatalities have been reported from these bombings, and it is possible that there are more bombs that have been planted in the area that have not yet been found. In addition, the suspects of the bombings have not yet been located, and there are no descriptions of the suspects. This is a very dangerous situation, and should not be ignored. Residents are advised to avoid the area around downtown Detroit, until the situation has been taken care of. Do not partake in any unruly behavior. You will be arrested without question, if you are caught. Remember, martial law remains in effect for the entire United States until further notice. Stay tuned to the station and other media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. Warning 21 Mitchell is now just two days away from making a catastrophic strike on Earth, and final calculations and forecasts on where the asteroid will strike have been completed by now. A representative of the president is getting ready to address the nation shortly on projections for 2021 Mit Mitchell, and will be giving details on the extent of the impacts that will be occurring for this. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency in conjunction with the Governor of Louisiana. 
A mandatory evacuation order is now in effect for all areas within 50 miles of the coast due to the high threat of an extremely large tsunami that is expected to be caused by the impact of the asteroid known as 2021 Mitchell. On May 9, 2021 Mitchell is expected to strike just off of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, and due to the impact site being right on the ocean, a large tsunami is expected to be generated from the impact. This is a very dangerous and life-threatening situation, and should be taken seriously. While evacuating, be sure to take non-perishable food, water, medical supplies, a first aid kit, a flashlight, and a battery-powered radio. Food and water should be able to last you and your family at least three days per person. Also make sure to tie a white towel around your mailbox just before you leave your residence. This will let authorities know that you are aware of the situation and that you have evacuated. Contraflow will be enacted on all roadways heading northbound out of the state of Louisiana in order to get people out in a timely fashion. Repeating, the asteroid known as 2021 Mitchell is expected to generate a very large tsunami upon impact on May 9th. Evacuate now. All right, we are back on the air from the EAS activation. We will now go to the White House where a representative of the president is going to be addressing the nation. Good morning, America. The president has been taken to an undisclosed location for safety at this time, and he has requested me to relay this message. What I am about to say is gonna be concerning what can be expected when 2021 Mitchell strikes the Yucatan Peninsula in about 12 two days from now. According to the latest projections from NASA, the asteroid is expected to hit just off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula around 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The impact, is, the impact is expected to create a crater approximately 100 miles wide and will kill anyone within 300 miles of the impact and send dust and gases into the atmosphere. The impact will create a very large tsunami that could reach up to 100 meters high in some locations. The wave is expected to wash in the inland about 50 miles from the coast. This means city that cities like Corpus Christi, Galveston, Houston, New Orleans, Mobile, and Tampa will all be destroyed. A mandatory evacuation has been issued for all areas within 50 miles of the Gulf Coast. We have started the evacuation today in order to get as many people out of the way of the expected tsunami as possible. The impact will also create very large earthquakes globally and potentially awaken volcanoes that cause large volcanic eruptions. Ash and dust will be sent into the atmosphere, which will block out the sun and lower global temperatures for the next four to eight years. Any life forms that have not been taken into shelters will be struggling to survive these harsh, condi harsh conditions, and it is possible that many species, species will go extinct in the wild. At this time, I should also mention that NASA has come up with a plan to try to blow up the asteroid. The U.S. and other numerous other nations have decided to try to launch nuclear missiles at the asteroid in an attempt to destroy it, or at least deflect it away from Earth. However, the missiles cannot be launched until the asteroid is just a few hours away from making impact, and how effective this will be is uncertain. While we are confident the missile attack will succeed, we are unsure if it will have an effect on the asteroid. Although we may have a plan in place as a last-ditch effort to stop the asteroid, it is only responsible to use these two final days as a preparation period for the impact. All shelters and group shelters need to be rushed to completion before May 9th. I want to urge all Americans to please remain calm and vigilant and remember that we are one nation under God. If we continue to work together, then I believe we will pull through this catastrophe. Thank you and may the Lord be with you all. And that was the representative of the president speaking. Now. Due to the evacuation order that is now in effect for where our studio is, we will be forced to evacuate by tomorrow. We will remain on the air throughout the rest of the today and by tomorrow. The station will not be pro showing programming from CNN to give you the latest information on the asteroid crisis. We, we will be back with more after the break. We interrupt our programming. This is a global emergency. Important details will follow.
the following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test. At 12.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, NASA has confirmed that the missile attack that was conducted on 2021 Mitchell has failed. The asteroid has sustained little damage from the attacks and is still heading for the Yucatan Peninsula. Impact is expected within the next two hours. When the asteroid impacts, giant mega tsunamis will occur, destroying the entire Gulf Coast. Earthquakes of magnitude 9 or greater can be expected in many locations. Volcanic eruptions are possible. A period of very high temperatures is likely, leading to large wildfires. Dust and ash will be released into the atmosphere, which will block out the sun, and lead to significantly colder global temperatures for the next 4 to 8 years. Mass extinction is certain during this time period. All residents of the United States are asked to go to shelters immediately and brace for impact. There is nothing more that can be done about the asteroid. I repeat, go to underground shelters immediately and brace for impact. A representative of the president will be speaking on all stations shortly. Stand by. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air, providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WXYZ. We will continue to serve the Metro Detroit area. If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Metro Detroit area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line is should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air, providing news and information. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. A tsunami warning is now in effect for the entire Florida Gulf Coast until further notice. At 1.09 p.m. Central Daylight Time, the asteroid known as 2021 Mitchell made impact just off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The impact has generated a very large tsunami, with the maximum wave heights being recorded at 100 meters high. This tsunami is expected to wash 50 miles and land in some locations, causing catastrophic damage to anything in the path. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. If you have not yet evacuated, this is your last chance to evacuate. The tsunami is expected to make impact on the Florida Gulf Coast within the next two hours. If you do not evacuate, you will face certain death. Repeating, if you have not yet evacuated the Florida Gulf Coast, evacuate to the north now. This message will repeat shortly. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. 
At 11.23 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, an earthquake with a magnitude of 9.8 is struck 20 miles south of the city of Visalia. The quake has been felt throughout the entire state of California, with reports of catastrophic damage across many areas in California, which includes collapsed buildings, ruptured gas lines, cracked roads, and bridge collapses. This extreme seismic activity is being caused by the impact of the asteroid 2021 Mitchell on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Additional large seismic activity is expected over the next three days, with many quakes expected to be magnitude 7 or greater. This is an extremely dangerous situation, and should be taken very seriously. If an earthquake occurs, get under sturdy pieces of furniture, to protect yourself from falling debris. If you are outdoors, get away from structures, and move to an open area. Please stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. At 11.51 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, an earthquake with a magnitude of 11.4 has struck 65 miles off the coast of Oregon. The quake has caused catastrophic damage to buildings already, and a tsunami has likely been generated by this dangerous earthquake. Further seismic activity is expected to occur within the next three days resulting from 2021 Mitchell impacting the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. At 1.51 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, an earthquake with a magnitude of 11.4 has struck 65 miles off the coast of Oregon. It has been confirmed that this earthquake has generated a large tsunami wave heading for the coast. The tsunami is expected to make impact on coastal area of the Pacific Northwest within the hour. Wave heights may get up to 70 meters high, especially in inlets and bays. Any person in coastal Washington, including the Seattle area, need to evacuate immediately. Only grab essential items as there is a very small window to evacuate from the tsunami. Repeating, a tsunami warning is in effect for all of coastal Washington until further notice. Evacuate now. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency in conjunction with the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the National Weather Service. A civil danger warning is now in effect for all U-point test states until further notice. At 2.06 p.m. Central Daylight Time, the ejected cloud from the asteroid that struck Mexico has reached the Gulf Coast states. The ejected cloud is bringing fiery debris and extremely high temperatures. Due to the extreme heat, an excess of heat warning has also been issued for all U-point test states. Temperatures in the ejected cloud are expected to be at least 140 degrees, with some instances of temperatures of 170 degrees or higher. 
the debris in the ejecta cloud, is expected to start massive wildfires, which are capable of causing catastrophic damage. The ejecta cloud is expected to cover the entire planet, and bring dangerous conditions. This is a very dangerous situation, and should not be ignored. All residents of the United States, are advised to get into underground shelters immediately, and stay there until temperatures cool down to safe levels in a few days. Stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of Arkansas Emergency Management. At 4.08 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a large wildfire has broken out near the city of Conway, moving rapidly eastward. Firefighters are currently trying to put out the fire. However, due to the current circumstances regarding the extreme heat in the area, it is possible that the fire may continue to spread. If you are in Conway and areas near Conway, it is advised that you evacuate immediately and get away from the fire. Drive to an alternative public shelter until it is safe to return to public shelters in Conway. Stay tuned to the station and other media outlets for more information. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. At 9.23 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, it has been discovered that the Yellowstone volcano is getting close to the point of eruption. An eruption coming from Yellowstone is expected to occur sometime within the next three to six days. This is a mandatory evacuation order for all areas within 200 miles of Yellowstone National Park. Evacuate now. While evacuating, be sure to take non-perishable food, water, medical supplies, a first aid kit, a flashlight, and a battery-powered radio. Food and water should be able to last you and your family at least three days per person. Also make sure to tie a white towel around your mailbox just before you leave your residence. This will let authorities know that you are aware of the situation and that you have evacuated. Stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. We interrupt our programming. This is a national emergency. Important details will follow. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. At 10.03 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Yellowstone supervolcano in Wyoming has violently exploded, sending an ash cloud more than 15 kilometers into the atmosphere. All towns within 100 miles of the volcano have been completely wiped out. 
Ash is spreading to the eastward, and it is expected that ash will be falling in all of the eastern United States within the next 24 hours. In addition, the eruption is a part already dangerous conditions caused by a chain of catastrophic disasters directly related to 2021 Mitchell colliding with Earth on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Widespread power outages have occurred across many areas in the United States due to extremely high temperatures, wildfires, earthquakes, and other volcanic eruptions that are also occurring. The ash fall will also contribute to lowering global temperatures on top of the dust that was already ejected from the asteroid. This is an extremely catastrophic and life-threatening situation. All residents in the path of the ash cloud who have left their shelters for a period of time need to return to those shelters as soon as possible. The president will be speaking on all stations shortly. Please stand by. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air, providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WXYZ, we will continue to serve the Metro Detroit area. If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Metro Detroit area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line is should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. Good morning. I am going to read you a statement and at this time I will not be accepting questions. At 10.03 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Yellowstone Caldera in Wyoming violently erupted. This eruption is most likely directly directly related to 2021 Mitchell striking the Yucatan Peninsula. In addition to Yellowstone, several other volcanoes suddenly burst into activity around the world and, and in the United States. Here in the U.S., these volcanoes include Mauna Loa, Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, Mount Shasta, Mammoth Mountain, Crater Lake, Lassen Peak, and Mount Hood. Residents who live near the mentioned volcanoes need to listen to local and state authorities for the latest information and listen to any evacuation orders given. I cannot stress this enough. The latest volcanic eruptions are expected to make the climate disaster following the asteroid worse, with global temperatures now expected to drop by 4 to 10 degrees Celsius and remain that way for the next 5 to 8 years. I urge all Americans to continue to follow the same precautions that were given for the asteroid impact and to get to your shelters, especially if you are in an area where ash fall is expected. I want to thank all Americans for cooperation so far during this global crisis, and I want to ask for continued cooperation during these hard times. Thank you, and may God be with you all. That was a message from the representative of the president. We now return to the emergency alert system. Hurricane Anna has now become the strongest hurricane ever recorded on the planet. Now packing winds of 280 miles per hour and gusts up to 325 miles per hour. The storm is headed on a direct path towards Long Island and it could pass very close to New Haven, causing even more catastrophic damage. Storm surge could reach as high as 60 feet in some locations which is going to destroy coastal towns beyond recognition and dwarfing those of other great hurricanes of the past. Water temperatures remain as high as 110 degrees in some areas, and those temperatures can still favor even more explosive strengthening. I would not be surprised if the storm pushes 300 miles per hour before landfall. Also, it should be noted that the storm will turn 
to the west once it enters Canada, and the storm could make landfall in Michigan as a much weaker storm, but still at a major hurricane intensity. It might also make landfall in Wisconsin later on as well. This storm is now a few hours away from striking Long Island and Connecticut. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. Civil danger warning in effect for all of Connecticut until further notice. Hurricane Anna now has maximum sustained winds of 305 miles per hour and is expected to strike Long Island in Connecticut within the next three hours. All areas within the path of the eye and that wall will be heavily damaged or completely destroyed. Storm surge along coastal areas could reach as high as 60 feet in some locations, capable of completely washing away coastal communities. This is a potential mass casualty situation. If you have not evacuated, yet evacuate now. If you are inland, and away from the coast, get to an underground shelter immediately. You will not survive this storm, if you are not in an underground shelter. I repeat, get to an underground shelter now. If you do not, you will face certain death. Stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for more information on this catastrophic situation. An administrative message from the United States government. This message is being broadcast regarding the aftermath of 2021 Mitchell. The asteroid and the resulting disasters from it have caused catastrophic damage across the United States, with some areas being completely unrecognizable to survivors. Well, over 10 million people have died across the United States due to disasters directly resulting from 2021 Mitchell, along with a massive amount of injuries. The President of the United States will be speaking over the station shortly. Stand by. Stand by. My fellow Americans, as all of you may know, the past few months have been among the darkest in American history. An asteroid by the name of 2021 Mitchell struck the Yucatan Peninsula back on May 9th, leading to a chain of unprecedented disasters. These disasters included extremely large earthquakes, giant mega tsunamis, extreme heat waves, large wildfires, volcanic eruptions, and as an indirect result, a large and extremely powerful hurricane that leveled more than half of Connecticut. Many cities across the nation have been destroyed and deemed uninhabitable at this time due to the destruction occurred from the disasters. The destruction of our many cities from this chain of disasters is a terrible loss. However, although hard times are still going to come from the resulting nuclear winter due to dust and volcanic ash high up in the atmosphere, I believe that we as a nation are capable of pulling through. I would like to thank all citizens and by extension all Americans of this country from listening to warnings and preparing adequately for the asteroid impact, even if they were not among those selected to go to the government shelters. Evacuations went rather smoothly and with little problems. I can assure you all that we will be able to emerge from the ashes and we will rebuild our great nation and become stronger than ever before, like that of a phoenix. Thank you and God bless America.
That was a message from the president. Normal programming operations may now resume.